Hey folks, it's uh, JC Kingsley here with Sun and Moon Studios. I'm reporting for Carolina's own Pod Force 5 today. I'm here with Miss Jada and Miss Sue. They are part of the staff out at Con Carolinas, uh, which is coming up quick on us this year. Um, and they wanted to let us know a little bit about the con and some things that have changed, uh, just to let you guys know where you can find them at this year. So that's a big change for the con, right? Yes, we have come back to the Hilton Charlotte University Place, which is conveniently located off of I-85 and Harris Boulevard. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, and it's a lovely area. We're off of the lake feature, and there's lots of restaurants around. You can take a nice long walk around the lake feature and you know feed the geese unless they chase you. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a few more options around here than at the former location for people yeah. to get involved in. And, and uh, that's uh, also, you know, she said it was off of 85. We're very close to 77 here also. So if you're out of town or coming into the kind, it looks like it's going to be a great place. <laughs> And now, something else for the kinds that I've taken part in in the past with you guys is the uh, panels that you have going on. So there's always a few that kind of stick out to, you know, that are, are kind of wacky, I guess you would say, <laughs> uh, the fun panels. And, and then you have a lot of serious panels for people that might want to get involved in everything from cosplay to publishing. And, and, uh, it's been really interesting seeing what you guys put together there. Are there any that stand out in your mind that are well, going to be something for people to pay attention to? Sherilyn Kenyon. Yeah. I think uh, Sherilyn's going to, well, she's doing signings this year. She, she's going to do signings. Sherilyn Kenyon is a an author, and she's a machine. You know, if you look at how many books that woman has out, she has a ton. I can't even, I would have to spend two years just to read through everything. So. Uh, that would be popular. Uh, not, my personal favorite, um, not to slight anybody, but I'm really excited about Jess coming in from the uh, CCB. Yeah, WCCB's. Oh, just Jess from CCB. Just CW. Jess, that, gotcha. yes, yeah, yeah. Super Chat, gotcha. you know, which is now you know national, you know, is being picked up nationally. And Congrats, Jess. Yay, uh, yeah, Jess. we are so excited to have her. Yeah, and, she um, will be here on Saturday. She's going to do basically Super Chat. Uh, but here, a, but a big super chat. Yeah, you know, not just a half hour. We're going because the, all the seasons will have ended, so we're going to rehash, you know, all of the seasons of Arrow, The Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Supergirl, and we may even talk about Gotham and Lucifer. So it's almost like a binge watching session with director's notes or something, yes. or something going on. That's yes. pretty neat. Okay. And, and Jess is so much fun, and she's going to be one of the uh, judges for the costume contest. Mm. And we have a special division in the costume contest based on any costume that has been seen on the DC small screen. So it's from any of the shows or from their web streaming, you know, because they have the Vixen show on mm -hmm. web streaming. They have some of the other ones. So, uh, okay. yeah. But DC only for that? DC only. But, DC only. Mm -hmm. That's one go. section of our costume contest. We have, with the costume contest, we have our beginners, our uh, journeymen, and then our expert levels. And then we have best in show, best skit, and best original. Okay. So, and I, there are people who have been working on costumes for this convention since last year. Sure. Yeah, yeah. So, you know. I know really, some of those guys get really crazy yeah. about how long they spend working on the costumes. Yeah. But it's always impressive to see what they come up with. They're going to spend that long on mm -hmm. something. So. Yeah. So we're bringing a big focus back to our costumes. Yes. Ooh. Yes. We, we definitely want to, you know, encourage people to do the very best they can, mm -hmm. you know. And when they come in for pre-judging, you know, we encourage them to bring, you know, reference photos and, you know, how they made the costume. Okay. So. A little how-to for the people that are yeah, watching. Yeah. Okay. You know, well, you know, this is for the pre-judging, you know, so that the judges know, you know, oh, I didn't right, go right. out and buy this off Party the Party City costume. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. Gotcha. Yeah. I, I sat there and stuck my thumb 13 times with a needle trying to get this pleat just right. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So.
So something else that changed this year, uh, to my understanding, is that you guys are not really selling tickets per se anymore. Well, so now it's yeah. a membership of some kind? Well, it's always, been, it's a always been a membership. Uh, mm -hmm. We are a 501c7. And okay. so the designation is a membership. So I'm not going to be printing you a ticket. You have bought a membership to this convention. That comes with some benefits besides just being able to come to the event. We will make available as much as possible to our members, you know, such as if somebody has free downloads, we'll tell the membership. Uh, the membership got to vote on the badge artwork because, yes, you do get a badge with your membership, uh, but you're buying the membership. Mm -hmm. And uh, the members get to vote in the Manly Wellman, Wellman uh, Horror Award. Now, I want to get that right. I want to get the, the correct th thing to you. I'll okay. send that to you. Uh, which is the best book of the year. Oh, okay, okay. So In the um, horror genre. It, you know, I think it's in the horror fantasy sci-fi uh -huh. genre. Okay. Uh, he was well known for his horror stories, and mm -hmm. he was here in North Carolina. So to qualify, you have to be a North Carolina author. Uh, John Hartness won last year. He's one of our authors. Gotcha. So. He's the Bubba. He writes the yes, Bubba. Yes, Bubba the Monster yeah. Hunter okay. and Quincy Harker. Shout out to John. Yeah. Things that happened this past year was a movement called Hold On to the Light. And it was our writers who got together and over a hundred writers were involved. They all wrote blogs about um, their personal dealings with mental illness. Mm -hmm. And it was to raise awareness of mental illness and to where you can get help. So, you know, we're gonna have a panel about that. Gotcha. And about those issues, because they're very important issues. A lot of people deal with depression. Yeah, that's a big topic. Is there somewhere they can still find those blogs? Are they still online for people to take a look at through the website or something? Holdontothelight.com, I believe. Um, okay. And I'll get you the correct address after sure, sure. that. And when she does, we'll put it right here on the screen for you yeah. guys. So yeah. check that out. Outside of the panels and the guests that you guys have come every year, mm -hmm. uh, I know that one of the big attractions for people that are returning attendees are after the con shuts down in the evenings, you guys still have stuff going on. Mm -hmm. uh, how is that going to work here at the Hilton this year? Uh, the third floor is our room party floor. And Noted. You know, we already have people signing up to host room parties. Cool. And, uh, you know, they have kind of free reign of the third floor. You know, we do have our security up there to make sure that you know people are safe. We want you to be safe. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. So. And um, don't go crazy. The room is in someone's name, guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't destroy the hotel. <laughs> right. <laughs> Okay. And then at the door. And the website is concarolinas.org. Org. Dot org for you guys instead of con. Okay. Yeah. Well, if you type in dot com. It'll still take you. It'll take you there. Okay. So either one. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Circuitous route that'll get you there. Yeah. yeah. Dot, dot org is our main, you know, because of the 501c7. Gotcha, gotcha. So. And they can buy day passes or weekend passes or however, yeah. whatever fits your schedule, guys. So. Yeah, you can buy, you know, if you want to come just on Friday, you can buy that. If you want to come just on Sunday, you can buy that. Gotcha. You okay. know, uh, we do recommend that if you're coming on Saturday and you think you're going to stick around on Sunday for some programming, buy the full weekend membership. It's a $10 difference. Sure, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So. Better deal. Uh, we are interviewing before the schedule has come out, but by the time this is airing, you guys will be able to go to the website and take a look at the schedule and yes. figure out exactly what you want to go pay attention to and check out uh, there at the con. So make sure you do that. Get those tickets purchased. We're three weeks out? Two? Three weeks out. Three weeks out, guys. So <laughs> get in there and get them. Uh, let's try to you know get Hilton to match their capacity, I guess. Let's see, see how much we can pack in here. 
Uh, there'll be plenty of going, uh, plenty going on at the con, and lots of people for you to meet, and lots of events going on all the way into the wee hours of the night, most likely. Uh, so y'all come out and check it out. Okay. It's been uh, great talking with you ladies today, and we look forward to seeing you at the con this year. Thank Good you luck with everything. Us. Thank you. Break a leg, whatever they say <laughs> in the con business. Everything in me is already broken. So. <laughs> All right. Heal. All right. Well, thank this you has for been having us. absolutely yes, our pleasure. Thank you very much. Uh, this has been J.C. Kingsley with Con uh, with Con Carolinas with Carolinas <laughs> on Pod Force Five, guys, and we'll see you again next time. Thank you.